Interesting volatile moment for Uber to try to go public on Friday. Another wrinkle in a story that already has a bunch of them. Our Deirdre Bose is here at Post 9 with a lot more on Uber's biggest investor. I wonder who that might be. Has to be Massa. All roads lead to him, certainly. And, you know, he's really been wheeling and dealing in this space, the ride-sharing space, for many years. Have a look at this map. It really sums it up here. It represents the different ride-sharing companies around the world. Blue is Uber's footprint, which stretches from North America to Latin America, Europe, Australia, the Middle East. Yellow is Didi, mostly in China, Ola in India, Grab in Southeast Asia, 99 in Brazil, which was acquired by Didi last year. So, guys, what do they all have in common aside from a ride-sharing business? They have SoftBank investment. Masasan has spent some $20 billion to collect stakes in these companies. They are the biggest ride-sharing players around the world. With it, he has collected a whole lot of influence as well. One way of looking at it is that SoftBank could be brokering peace by bringing competitors together so that they can share resources and technology. Technology. But another way of looking at it, Masasan pushing his agenda and carving out regional winners. With Uber, he swooped in with nearly $8 billion, got two board seats for SoftBank, and corporate governance changes that completely altered the power dynamics. It made SoftBank the biggest investor, replacing VC firm Benchmark and founder Travis Kalanick. The investment also implemented that one share, one vote structure that we will see when Uber soon goes public. Now, off, after Uber got the SoftBank capital, the company retreated from Southeast Asia, letting Grab, also backed by SoftBank, become the indisputable market leader. But the web is likely to get complicated in Latin America. Uber has been there for years, but Didi has been making moves, and it's unlikely that either player is willing to retreat from such a critical ride-sharing market. Guys, it's remarkable to change. Under Travis Kalanick, Uber wanted global domination. When you look at the current dynamics, it's really Masa's game, and Masa's game is regional players.